like a nightmare. <laughs> it's been going on for eight years now. Maybe they think I'll kill myself, but I'm not planning on doing that, and I've told them that before. For many people with these illnesses, there's a loss of insight. They do not realize that they are ill, or if they do, at the moment when they're psychotic, they reject the notion that they need help. I have medicine for you. What happens if I refuse it? <laughs> I think you know the answer. The police handcuffed him to a chair and got him to take two milligrams of risperidone. If coercion is necessary to get him back to that point of stability, then that's what's necessary. Eric is too sick to be able to decide whether the medication will help him or not. In most mental commitment cases, that's the end of it. Prices is going to recommend to the county that the commitment be extended. So I didn't think they were actually going to bring you back here because I, there's no reason to bring you back here. There just isn't. Under no circumstances should I ever be given any kind of psychiatric care without my explicit consent, period. He's a brave, strong, very respectable young man <laughs> for sticking with his guns. To get people to listen, just to listen to him, it's just kind of crazy.